Hi guys, Cindy here with Pleasant Sims. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to get your babies to wear different colored clothing based on gender in The Sims 2. This is one of the most frequently asked questions on my channel and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy to do, you just need the correct files in your download folder. So I'll put all the links down below in the description box so you can follow along with me. And before we start, a disclaimer. I use blue and pink because, at least in my culture, they are the universal colors for male and female and they help me distinguish between genders at birth. That is all. But you can use any color you like. You'll just need to pick one color for boys and one color for girls. Unfortunately, due to the limitations of the game, babies can only wear a single color per gender. Okay, let's get started. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Maxis Match Baby Outfits by Fake Peeps or the Little Llama Baby Outfits by Fake Peeps. The reason why we're using these is because number one, they're Maxis Match and they're very well done. And number two, they have been converted for girls as well as boys. If you wanna use some other baby outfit um, that's not listed here, then you're gonna to need to find one that also has a conversion for little girls. You can't just use any old baby outfit that you download off of Tumblr. It has to have a conversion for girls as well. And both of these sets do, so I would recommend starting with these. Now before we download anything, you need to create a new folder. I am going to pull up my downloads folder here and show you what I mean. So if you go to Documents, EA Games, The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, or The Sims 2, it doesn't matter which version you have, it's going to be in the same place, Downloads. Inside your downloads folder, create a new folder for your baby clothing. I've created a new folder here. And then we're gonna choose which set we wanna use. You can use either one of these sets, keeping in mind that you can only use one color for your little boys. And right now we're just concerned with finding a color that we want for our little boy sims. So look through the, the two posts and see which one you like. Personally, I like to use the little llama baby outfits and I use the blue little llama right here. So that means I'm gonna go to files here on Mod The Sims, right here, and I'm gonna download, first of all, I'm gonna download the mesh. So you will have to have this mesh, so click it to download, open it up, and this is just how I do it. You can download however you want. I'm gonna assume you know how to download and extract files. And then I pull this over into my new uh, baby clothing folder. So now I have my mesh. Then I'm gonna download Baby Outfit All Nine Colors. I'm gonna open this up. Now, here's the mistake that most people make and the same mistake that I made when I was first trying to figure out how to do this. Do not copy all of these files over into your download folder. If you do, the game is just gonna choose a random file. I think it, it kept choosing turquoise blue whenever I did it you put all of your babies in. So what you have to do is choose one of these. I chose blue, so I'm gonna pull over the blue and leave all the rest behind. So choose one single color that you want for your baby boys to wear and pull that over. So right now we should have a mesh and we should have one outfit for our baby boys. If you decide to go with the Maxis Match Baby Outfits instead of the Little Llamas, it all comes in a single file, but the same principle applies. You would pull over the mesh and you would pull over a single outfit for your little boys. Now we're gonna go over to Tumblr. We are gonna go over to Artemita Sims. I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm butchering it, but that's how I say it in my head. Artemita Sims Tumblr. And this person has converted these same two sets of outfits for little girls as well. You need a special file for little girls. You do not have to use the same set that you used for little boys. Both of these sets use the same mesh, so you can choose either one for your little girls. I'm gonna use the Maxis Match Baby Outfits for little girls because I like the little pink outfit for my girls. Click that, it's gonna take you over to this box website. Click download. Once it downloads, open it up. And once again, do not copy all of these files into your downloads folder. You only need one. Choose one outfit for your little girls. I'm gonna use stripes pink. So I'm gonna pull over that, pull that over. 
And now I have three files in my downloads folder, in my baby clothing folder. I have a mesh, I have a girl outfit, and I have a regular outfit. Now, anytime in my game that a baby is born, the regular outfit here, the fake peep seven body outfit blue will be applied to my baby boys. The girl BF body outfit will be applied to little girls. So you just make sure that you have three files, a mesh, a girl outfit, and a normal outfit for your little boys. And that's all there is to it, guys. As long as you have those three files in your folder, it will work. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and I will do my best to help you out. And if you guys have any more uh, suggestions for tutorials that you would like to see, also leave a comment down below and let me know. I really enjoy making these tutorials for you, and uh, I like to take requests, so just let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to get it out for you. And if this was helpful to you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new tutorials and new gameplay videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to visit my blog at PleasantSims.com and you can also follow me on social media. I am on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I am on Pinterest. I will see you all with a new gameplay video very soon.